Hello, this is Dave Demerit with ProLink Graphic Services and I'm an authorized CorelDRAW training partner. And today I want to show you a little demo on the uh, Corel Drawings digitizing software. And we're going to create a little logo today for a, uh, a flower shop. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to get rid of this. Um, don't need this in our way. Okay, then I'm going to come over here to the Polygon tool. I'm going to hold down my control key, left click and drag. Then I'm going to hit my F10 to get my shape tool. Click on one of the nodes and hit delete and that deleted all the nodes on the sides. And then I'm going to come over here to um, the distortion tool and I'm going to right here in the center and left click and drag and get me a little flower design. And I'll come over here to the F7 or ellipse tool and I'm going to put a little centerpiece right in here. And we'll color that yellow and we'll take orange for the petals. Now we need a stem, so we're going to come over here to the um, freehand tool. And we'll just come in here and kind of put a stem right in there. And I'm going to come up here to about an eight point. I want to run over here to right click and make that green and I want to hit a shift page down to send it to the back. Okay. Now I also want a little leaf in here so I'm going to take this um, freehand tool and I'm just going to put a little shape in here that hopefully looks like kind of a leaf and I'm going to spread out my uh, palette so I can see what I've got as far as color choices and I think I'll try uh, let's go with uh, this one right here see what that looks like. Okay and then I'm going to right click on my little X up here so I can get rid of the outline color. Oops, come back here, control Z to back up. I'm going to click and then I'm going to hit my space bar. Oops, control Z again. There we go. <coughs> and I'm going to group this together, control G. And I'm going to shrink that just a little bit eh, to about right there. Put that, and we'll just hit the letter P and put it in the center of the page. All right, now we need some text. So down here we're going to put flowers, and I want to do it in all caps. And up here we're going to put uh, floras. So we got floras, flowers. So now I need to go back to my pick tool. I'm going to hold Control down and hit my space bar, and make my floor is about that big and then we're going to come up here and we'll go with this Bahamas Heavy, it's convenient. And then I'm going to come over here to this envelope tool and a single arch is all I need so I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to come down here, hold down my control key, click on that one node and pull up and get a little bit of an arch. Okay, I'm going to make it red and I'm going to make it a black outline by right clicking on that color and I'm going to hit my space bar and hit F12 to bring up my pin dialog box. I'm going to thicken up that outline a little bit but first I want to hit scale with image and then go to about let's go to a four point see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. And then let's uh, increase flowers by oh, about like that and also make it bold. Well, there we go. And let's put uh, floras down here right over the flowers. And then we'll click on flowers and hold down the shift key, click on floras, and we'll hit C for center. And we might want to bring that up just a little bit with the arrow keys. That's pretty good. Okay. And the only other thing I have to do now is uh, come back over here and hit my stitch tab right here. and within a few seconds we have a finished digitized ready for machine file. So I'm going to hit the H for hand and put it here in the center a little bit so you can see it better and also so you can see it better maybe I can change the uh, the fabric color here. Let's try that one. Mm, that's not too bad. Let's try, let's try this dark one. Ooh, that's too dark. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just leave it right there. So again, you've got your um, text all in here, ready to go to uh, your machine, and you can come in here and play with this because what you can do from here is you can change. Let's say we want to change the uh, the outline here a little bit. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to co come over here and click on this outline pin. And let's say I wanted to add a little, um, yeah, this little this little star around here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here and show you that uh, we did add those little stars all over the outline there, just to give it a little more pizzazz. Okay, and that is how you would um, very very quickly come up with a little logo and have it uh, digitized and ready for the machine. All we have to do now is go to File, Save As. And of course we want to save it as the draw file. This is going to be able to uh, allow us to uh, come back and do any editing that we might have if we misspelled a word or something. And then we come over here and we also want to save it as one of our um, machine files. So you can have DST for Tajima, uh, SWF, FAF, Happy, Melco, Brother, Husqvarna, uh, Viking, Genome, just about anything you've got out there. Toyota, Baradon. Um, so most of the machines out there, almost all the commercial machines and even some of the uh, home embroidery machines. So you just simply hit save, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't need to save this myself. Now if you need to do any editing, again you can come over here and select different objects, but you can also come back here in Corel Draw and do some editing here as well. Alright, thank you for the uh, time that you've taken for this demonstration, and I hope that you uh, see the benefits of this program. We also give training in Corel Draw, both online and in person, as well as having training CDs. So go to our website take a look and uh, if you have any questions give us a call give us an email our phone number is 765 do color d-o-c-o-l-o-r all right thank you very much